Well, this is a little up close and uh, personal for a redstone video. What's up guys, Kill here, and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these super compact and super easy to make dropper elevators. One of them is silent and the other is one wide and tileable. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Now for this first design, not only is it one wide and very, very compact, if you increase the speed at which you're inputting items into the bottom dropper, it actually becomes silent. So as, as you can see, once I fill in all three of these hoppers and the items are being input at the speed of three hoppers, the entire thing becomes completely silent and very, very, very fast. Now the supplies that you're gonna need for this dropper elevator are one sticky piston, one building block, one comparator, 10 droppers, 18 observers, three hoppers, and a chest for the top. And I would also suggest having some scaffolding to help build it. Uh, also, if you wanna make it taller, for every additional dropper that you add, it will be another two observers added to the supplies. And of course, to build it, we're gonna build it in survival mode and get started. First off, you're gonna place your block with your comparator on top of it, and then the sticky piston on the front end of this comparator, and one of your observers looking at the comparator. Then go ahead and place one of your scaffolding blocks here and a dropper there. And then if you hold down shift and use space to jump, you can place all of these droppers here without opening up the droppers inventory and place all of those up in a line. And of course, if you're really pro, you can use your scaffolding to, and of course, if you're really a pro, you can use your scaffolding to to stick the landing perfectly, uh, first try. <laughs> then your three hoppers can go into this bottom dropper here. Now come around to the back here and add a scaffolding on top of this observer in the back. And then, once again, build up a line of observers going to the top until it is flush with the droppers. And then when you're back down at the bottom here, you're gonna wanna add an observer facing like so. And then you can go ahead and get rid of that scaffolding as well as the one from right here from earlier. And then build up your line of scaffolding up the side here. And then place your observers facing into this back row of observers here. Also, I would highly encourage you to download the Vanilla Tweaks Texture Pack, specifically the Observer Direction and the Hopper Direction. They're very useful for redstone. I'll put a link to the specific one that I use as well as a link to Vanilla Tweaks itself because you can create your own resource pack for Vanilla Minecraft there. Anyway, and that is the dropper elevator done. Of course, if you wanna add in, you can throw a chest here on the top and your items will be thrown directly into the chest. Now for the one wide and tileable version of this dropper elevator. I had to make it a little bit bigger, but it's still very compact and it works very, very well. Again, let's throw some ham in here to test it. As you can see, you can load up both sides and both sides work at exactly the same speed. Unfortunately, with this one, it's not silent like the other one, but both dropper elevators do run at the same speed. Now for this one, here are the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need 12 building blocks, two sticky pistons, one comparator, 10 droppers, and 22 observers. Once again, if you need to add more height or more droppers to this for every dropper that you add, it is another two observers. One hopper, one chest, and then I would recommend to make this a lot easier to build, bringing a trapdoor as well as your scaffolding blocks once again. Now for this one, we're actually gonna start out by placing your scaffolding block and then your observer on top of it so that the red dot is at the bottom and the face is looking down. And then your trap door, placing it on the side of this observer and using it to go down into this crouch mode. That way you can place an observer looking up into that trap door. And that's really all, we'll, all that we'll be using the trap door for, but it's still very, very useful. Then you're gonna wanna put your sticky piston facing like so and then a building block behind that sticky piston as well as on top of this top observer. Then go ahead and place two scaffolding blocks on top of your sticky piston and that way you can place two observers that are pointing down into this block. Then place your comparator on top of that observer and it should grab this and activate this clock but to get it back just double click your comparator and it'll put the observer back. Now, use some scaffolding to go up here, and once again, outside of this comparator, place your sticky piston, like so. Uh, and then around the back, 
on this sticky piston, place an observer facing into the comparator. Now go ahead now go ahead and using the same holding shift, pressing space method, place your droppers going up in a line. Use your conveniently placed scaffolding to land without taking any damage. Put a scaffolding block on top of this observer. That way, once again, you can place observers facing up until it's flush with your droppers. And then put a building block behind each of these droppers, like so. Now, while you're up here, you can go ahead and place a chest. Build your scaffolding up to the height of the observer tower. And then place your obser observers while facing this back observer line. And then when you get to this bottom scaffolding, scaffolding piece, put your last observer there, destroy that scaffolding, destroy this scaffolding, throw in your hopper at the bottom dropper, and that is it complete. Now, like I said, this design is also one wide and tie level, but it's kind of hard to appreciate that unless you see it. So I'm gonna build, I mean, a few more of these just to show what it looks like when all of them are firing because it's actually really satisfying in my opinion. All right, so I built uh, a few more of these dropper elevators to show the whole thing in action in all of its tileable tile glory. And I figured the best way to show this off would be to throw some ham through it. And behold. Of course, this one will be finished first and then as they go in the order that I sent them through they'll finish and for each one that finishes the observer will come out and when it's done it just stays where it started and as you can see wait uh I don't know where that came from actually I, I genuinely do not know where this extra ham came from but as you can see no issues every bit or every single item made it all the way through every single dropper and that is the design for the one wide tie level dropper elevator anyway i hope you guys found this design useful if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss out on another video and if you do end up finding this useful or have a suggestion feel free to join the community discord kale's hams i feel like i don't bring it up enough on this channel but but yes i do have a community discord i'll leave a link in the description and yeah if you guys want to go check it out feel free to Anyway, that's all I have for this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.